Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on distributed system. In this video, we have to discuss about what is distributed system and what are the characteristics of distributed system and what are the examples of distributed system that are discussed. First of all, what is distributed system? A distributed system is a collection of autonomous computers that appear to the users of the system as a single computer. Another definition is a distributed system is a collection of independent computers that are connected by using high-speed network such as LAN. So this is also a definition of the distributed system. So mainly the definition of the distributed system contains two components. One is hardware component, second one is software component. Here the hardware component is the collection of independent computers is nothing but hardware. Software is the users think of the the users think of the system as a single computer is nothing but software. So a distributed system it contains both hardware components and software components. Here hardware component is nothing but collection of independent computers. Software component is nothing but the users think of the system as a single computer. Okay. So for example, so this is a distributed system. So in this distributed system, there are the six computers who are on six CPUs are there. Here P is nothing but a computer who are on CPU. So these six computers are connected by using a high speed network. So then we can say that so this collection of six computers is a distributed system. So in the distributed system, so each and every computer has a single CPU, memory, peripherals and other some terminals. So each and every computer has a single CPU, memory, peripherals and other terminals are there. So each CPU is communicated with the other CPU in the distributed system by sending some messages from one computer to other computer. Each and every computer has its own operating system. So this computer has its own operating system. This computer has its own operating system. This one, this one, this one, this one has its own operating system. So these computers are connected by using a high speed network such as LAN or BAN. So then we can say that it is a distributed system. Here, so this computer is there at one place and this computer is there at another place. This computer is located at another place. This computer is also located at another place. This computer is also located at some other place. This computer is also located at some other place. So, six computers are there at some other places, but these computers are connected by using a high speed LAN. So each and every computer in the distributed system is communicated with the other system in the same in the same distributed system by sending some messages. Okay. Next, we have to consider 
some examples for distributed system. First example, suppose we can take a large bank that consists of a hundreds or a thousands of branch offices throughout the world. Each branch office has a central or or a master computer to store the local account information and handling local transactions. In addition to that, each computer is communicated or a talk with other branch computers or a the computer head up at central headquarters. Suppose if the transactions can be done without regard to where a customer or our account is and the users do not notice any difference between this system and the old centralized mainframe computer that it replaced. Now it can be counted as a distributed system. According to the definition of distributed system, okay, hundreds or thousands of branch offices located at different different cities throughout the world. Each and every computer at the branch office is talk to any other computer throughout the world throughout the world how this computer is communicated with the other computer by sending the messages so all these computers are connected by using high speed lan okay if the transaction can be done in if the transaction can be done where the customer is there and where the account is. Okay. But the user do not notice any difference between this system and the old centralized mainframe computer that it replaced. Now it can be considered as a distributed system. Next consider the second example. Consider a factory. That factory is built with full of robots. Each robot has a powerful computer for handling vision, planning and communication and some other tasks. Suppose a robot in the assembly, a robot in the assembly line is noticed that a part that is supposed to install is defective. It asks another robot on the parts department to bring it for replacement. How this robot in one department, in the assembly department, is communicated with parts department by sending some messages. So this robot is communicated with this robot by sending messages because these both robots are, are connected by using high speed LAN. Okay, here there are several robots are there in several departments. All robots are connected by using a high speed LAN. Each robot is communicated with another robot by sending some messages. Suppose if all the robots like as a peripheral devices that are attached to the same centralized computer and the programmed in the, in the same way, then all these computers can be treated as a distributed system. Okay, so these are the examples for distributed system. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. 
If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name, Dibbele Srinivasa Rao. Thank you.